With this release, Ocular 4 features a complete rewrite of the whole toolset to give the best possible results for preparing stereo footage and VFX, making it a vital tool in any stereoscopic pipeline. The new next generation disparity and vector algorithms, coupled with the new picture building algorithms, means that Ocular 4 will give you sharper and cleaner images that match the original plates more accurately. You will now get clean separation between your foreground and background elements with distinct depth boundaries. Ocular 3's disparity generation had a blurry roll off in depth, which used to mean that background fixes would merge with foreground images. This ultimately would require painting of disparity vectors to fix, which is a technical and time consuming task. Using the new view picture building operation, Ocular allows you to reconstruct a new eye based on the pixel data from one eye and the disparity between both eyes. If you look at the result of Ocular 4 picture rebuild and compare that to the Ocular 3 result, you'll see that there is a slight variance in the image between the two. Ocular 3 warps the image if you compare it to the original, whereas Ocular 4 matches the original eye a lot closer. If you zoom in and compare Ocular 3 results to Ocular 4, you will also see that there is some softening in Ocular 3 as well. This is a byproduct of the accuracy of the disparity and the vast improvements we have made with Ocular 4. Creating disparity is even easier now. You don't need to add an all solver node anymore as you can add the disparity generator straight away and render the disparity files offline to be read in for any further operations. This greatly helps the setup time of your stereo triage process and lends itself well to automation via scripting. You can also switch between the various presets in the disparity generator to get the best results depending on the task you are tackling. In addition to the new disparity, we now have a brand new disparity review gizmo which offers a variety of modes to review our generated disparity and assess if there are any areas that need addressing later on. In this example, we have a pop in our disparity map. You can now utilise the O-Multi sample tool which will draw in vectors surrounding the target area and paint over the error. This tool is going to be a big time saver when painting disparity vectors using Ocular. The next generation algorithms we use with disparity also relate to our stereo retiming tools. If you look at the Ocular 4 retime results, you can see there is a smooth retiming effect across the whole image. With the Ocular 3 retime, you can see this wobbling jello effect where Ocular 3 hasn't locked down onto the foreground actor. Using the new clean vectors and our stereo rebuilding with Ocular 4, we can now get a lockdown image the first time. 